Hello everyone! Second example for homogeneous equation, we have to obtain the general solution for the differential equation that we have x minus 2y dx plus 2x plus y dy is equal to 0. Una, tignan muna natin if our equation ay talagang homogeneous. Let us look term by term. Simula muna tayo dito kay x. So this is raised to 1, degree 1. Ito, y lang naman siya, degree 1. Then, kay 2x, this is also raised to 1, degree 1, and y is also degree 1. This is just by observation, makikita na natin na yung equation natin ay homogeneous. Pero kung hindi siya ganun kahalata, you may change the function of x and y into a function of lambda x, lambda y. Then, as we observe, homogeneous nga siya, so let us proceed with our next steps. Ang gagawin ko muna, I will be distributing yung bawat term para yung simplification natin ay mas madali. Si x minus 2y dx will become x dx minus 2y dx plus, dito naman sa kabila, we have 2x dy plus y dy. Then, after distributing, pipili ngayon tayo, ano yung ilelet natin, yung value ba ng x or yung value nung y natin. As a tip, Kung ano yung mas simple, yun na ang babaguhin natin. Yung dalawa, pareho naman silang madali, pero siguro I want to avoid yung negative, kaya ang pipiliin ko na lang ay itong nasa dy. Pero if you continue with your solution, etong ginamit nyo, hindi rin naman siya magiging ganun kahirapan compared dito kay y. So, since etong pinili natin, so we let y be equal to vx, and then yung derivative niya is dy is equal to vdx plus xdv using product rule of differentiation. Then, we substitute lahat ng y, gagawin natin vx. Simula muna tayo dito. So, we have our y here. So, this becomes 2 times yung y, naging vx dx. And then, yung dy natin becomes vdx plus xdv. Kaya, itong part na to, 2x times vdx plus xdv. And then, eto, yung y ay naging vx. Yung dy ay naging vdx plus xdv. Then, we perform the operations. Itong part na to, this becomes negative 2 vx dx. And then, ito, let us distribute. So, this is 2x times vdx becomes 2 vx dx. And then, ito naman, if we multiply, magiging x squared siya. So, this becomes 2x squared dv. Then, dito, dalawa yung v. So, this becomes v squared x dx plus si vx naman times x dv will become v x squared dv all is equal to 0. Then, tignan natin kung ano pa yung magagawa natin. We have our vx and then dx. So, pareho sila. This will become 0. Then, pagsamahin natin lahat nung dx at nung dv. So, this will become x dx, itong part na to, na wala na tong dalawa. And then, we have our v squared x dx. Kay dv naman, we have 2x squared dv. And then, we have our vx squared dv. Then, we factor out our common terms. Ito, common si x, tsaka si dx. So, iuuna ko muna si x. This will become x. And then, si dx. Ano yung natira sa loob? This becomes 1. And then, pag nawala na si x dx dito, ang natira naman ay si v squared. For this part, ang common naman is x squared dv. Factoring that out, we have our x squared here. And then, dv here. Ang natira ay si 2. For this part, ang natira na lang natin ay CV. So, this becomes x squared times 2 plus V times DV is equal to 0. Then, the operation between them is already multiplication. We can separate. So, this is x, 1 plus V squared DX. Then, DX siya, dapat ang kasama niya ay function of x. Pero, we have our 1 plus V squared here. Continuing with our separation, kailangan natin tanggalin tong part na to. So, this is dv. Kailangan ko rin tanggalin dito si x squared. So, multiplying both sides of our equation by 1 all over x squared times 1 plus v squared. For this term, mawawala si 1 plus v squared. This becomes x all over x squared dx. And that is just dx all over x. For this part, mawawala na si x squared. Ang natira na lang is numerator 2 plus v dv all over 1 plus v squared, that is all equal to 0. Then, checking if separable, now we have our dx over x, function of x. Then, etong buong term na to, this is a function of v kasama ni dv. So, our equation is already separable. Then, we can take the integral of both sides of our equation. Nasa integral na part na tayo, let us get its solution. 
Etong part na to, wala tayong problema kasi this is already ln of x. Ito lang yung medyo may gagalawin tayo. Kung titignan natin, ang derivative ng ating denominator is 2v dv. Kaso nga lang, ang nasa numerator natin ay 2 plus v. For us to find a workaround dun sa problema natin, I will be separating etong part na to. Since ang operation ay addition and they share the same denominator, it will lead to this form. Hiniwalay muna natin si 2 all over 1 plus v squared and then sa integral nilabas natin yung constant na 2 kaya ang natira ay si dv all over 1 plus v squared. For this part naman, we have our v dv all over 1 plus v squared. Now, let us take the integrals. dx over x, okay na tayo dito. etong part na to, if you will be observing 1, this is also equal to 1 squared and then plus v squared. Sum nung dalawang square na nasa denominator. So, this integral will lead to arctan, where ang a natin is just equal to 1 and our u here is just equal to v. Now, getting their integral, eto is just ln of x and then retain si 2, tapos 1 over a, a is just 1, kaya 1 over 1, 2 pa rin siya, and then we have our arctan, ang u natin is v, so this is v over a is 1, v over 1 is just V. Kaya ito ay naging 2 arctan of V. And then dahil nag-integrate na tayo, we have our C here. Then we can work on this term. Ito na lang ang kailangan natin kuha na ng integral. Kung papansin nyo, ang nasa denominator, 1 plus V squared. So kailangan na lang natin ng 2 dito sa numerator. Working on it step by step, we let U be our denominator, 1 plus V squared. Its derivative is just equal to du, u is du, and then 1, constant lang to, kaya 0, and then eto, v squared, by applying power rule of differentiation, this becomes 2v dv. Pero ang meron tayo is just v. So let us multiply both sides of our equation by 1 all over 2. Para mawala na si 2 dito, matirhan tayo ng v dv dito. So this becomes 1 over 2 du is equal to v dv. Now we substitute. Ito na yung tinatrabaho natin. So, this denominator is just equal to u. And then, our v dv, itong part na to, will just become 1 over 2 du. Doing the substitution will lead to this. Ito na siya. Then, ilalabas na natin yung constant natin na 1 over 2 para ma-integrate natin yung natitira. So, this is ln of x plus 2 arctan of v. Pag nilabas ko si 1 half and then yung du over u ang natira, its integral is just ln of u. And this is equal to c. Now we are finished with our integration process, the rest, simplification na lang, and then ibabalik natin yung u natin, tsaka yung v, in terms of x and y. Kasi yun yung original na given natin. We are given with a function of x and y. So to simplify, let us multiply both sides of our equation by 2. Para mawala yung fraction, multiplying that, this will become 2 ln of x, and then this becomes 4 arctan of v, then this will just become ln of u is equal to c. Eto, 2 times c, constant times constant, it will just result to another constant. Kaya silang siya. Then, applying the rules of logarithm, so we have our 2 here, yung constant, pwede ko siyang gawin na exponent nung nasa loob ni ln. And then, pagsamahin ko yung dalawang ln, this becomes ln of, again, yung 2 na nandito will become the exponent of x, kaya siya naging x squared. And then, inusod ko lang si ln of u dito, plus 4 arctan of v is equal to C. Now, observing na dalawang ln, the operation between them is addition. We have logarithms with the same base. ln is just logarithm of base E. So, kapag ka-addition and then both logarithm with the same base, then we can make them as product. So, this becomes ln of x squared times u plus 4 arctan of v is equal to C. Again, applying the rules of logarithm. Then, eto na lang, yung u ibabalik natin to x and y, and then yung v ibabalik natin sa x and y. Remember, our u is 1 plus v squared. So, doing that here, bringing back our equation to x and y, since our u is 1 plus v squared, so substitute natin, so u becomes 1 plus v squared. And then, earlier, ginawa natin si y is equal to vx. Then, solving for the value of v in terms of x and y, this becomes v is equal to y all over x. So, ang gagawin naman natin is we will be substituting lahat ng v, papalta naman natin siya ng y over x. Eto, tung part na to, tung dalawang v na to. Then, doing that, since naka-square siya, y over x will become y squared all over 
x squared. Kaya itong part na to ay ganun, and then this part will just be retained as y all over x. Then we simplify itong part na to, since whole number to plus a fraction, we can represent it this way. So we have x squared all over x squared, itong part na to is just equal to 1 plus y squared all over x squared. Kasi kapag ka ginawa natin yun, we have our multiplication here. So, x squared divided by x squared. This will just become 1. Kaya matitirahan tayo ng ln of x squared plus y squared plus 4 arc tan of y over x is equal to c. This is our simplified solution. Music